Hey guys, hope you're well. A little new haircut going on. Actually, I didn't really take care of my hair during the holidays and I lost a lot of volume, so my hair feels like very... I have a little side bang going on. Apparently, it's a comeback, so I'm just like part of the trend. <laughs> Last week, I saw a video from Amira Takes Notes and the video that was recommended for me was how would I actually spend millions and essentially she was just selling how, what she would spend on if she had all the money that she needed and I, I think that's a really nice exercise to do especially if you do it I don't know at 20 and then at 30 and every every couple of years just to see how much your priorities have changed I have a list of different areas of my life and I would just want to see what would I spend on if I had all the money that I needed. Unlimited excess of money. So for money and finances, I think um, that would be really good. <laughs> Excellent credit score, all that stuff. Great, amazing, no complaints. Okay, career and work. Even though I still had a limited amount of money, I think I would still be interested in working part-time just so that I have a routine established. And I think for university, I think I would probably pursue more studies media because i'm doing law so i think if i were to specialize do a, a special course in media media and pr or family law employment law i think specific courses i think i would do with them okay, with health and fitness I, I i would take pilates class i would take kickboxing classes because right now at this moment life in london is very expensive and you just have to be creative when money is not as abundant as my imaginary life I just have to be you know I follow workouts on YouTube do it from home or I just walk often all that stuff but if I had unlimited access to money I would just take classes and I really do enjoy going to a class and then you have the professor really helping you out oh this is not how you really do it this is how you might you know this is how you master the position and all that stuff so I would just take yeah classes and with health i would just eat organic food every day all day every day the other day i went to whole foods and i was looking for pineapple tell me why a a, a box of cut pineapples was 13 pounds it was not even a third of the pineapple 13 pounds hmm. okay i don't think i'm the target audience for that not yet not yet Okay, for fun and recreations, I think I would just I would just travel all the time. And I think Amira in her video she said that she would invest in first class tickets or like business class tickets just for the comfort. I don't think I would mind that much when it comes to being on the plane. Now, if it's a long flight, I, I could always buy a business class ticket. Pursuing comfort between economy and business class is quite but for between business and first class the gap is quite small. If it's a long flight, I can I can do a business class, but any video of it, I don't mind just being in economy. Now, where my money would go when it comes to traveling is a really good hotel. I've traveled before. Sometimes hotel can be like the most expensive aspect and you're trying to find something that is not too dangerous, but on a budget and all that stuff. So if I am at a five-star hotel, just downtown close to everything i would just love it some people might go take ubers and all that stuff. i really enjoy using public transportation i really do especially when you're traveling i remember a while ago watching a video this girl said that she went to italy if i remember correctly but she ubered all the time and then she was a bit disappointed that she didn't get to see more of the italian culture but what says more about local culture than the public transportation. There's always crazy stuff happening in the London tube. There's always crazy stuff happening in the Montreal tube. This is where you see the most authentic vibe of the city. And recreation, I think I would just, like like with the sports class, I would just take a bunch of other extracurricular activities really. Maybe a salsa class or painting class, just different hobbies that not only get me out of my apartment but also I get to meet people and all that stuff okay my environment I would probably say I would live in a 
bigger apartment, more spacious. But here's the thing. If I'm one person or we're two people, there's no need to have a 10 house, a 10 bedroom apartment, a 10 bedroom house. There's no need. Who, who, who are we hosting like that? No. It's like one bedroom max, two bedroom max. That's it. That's all I need. I really see myself having a library in my dream apartment where I have books in French, books in English, books in Haitian Creole, books in other languages such as Italian and Spanish. And that's my, my dream. That's my dream apartment. No carpet flooring. I know in Europe they love carpet floorings. I don't want that. I really don't. No, thank you. Family and friends. I would splurge on my friends and my family. Travels, nice experiences. Going to concerts together. Oh, that would be so good. That would be so good. Just going to concerts and nice seats at the concert with my friends. Yeah. Okay, partner and love. We can't buy boyfriends here. <laughs> no, I, I, same thing with family and friends. I would just splurge on my husband. I say husband, but yeah. My husband. I would splurge on my husband. Haven't found him yet, but... Yeah, just like trips and just nice experiences. Whoa, I just I just forgot a whole aspect when it comes to community. I'm so sorry, but for community, it is so important for me to, if I had unlimited resources, I would do anything in my power to help the people in Haiti. My family's from Haiti and I grew up, every time there would, there would be a mention of Haiti, it was just something bad. And I would, with that unlimited resources, I would just, I would build schools, I would build houses i would build like proper roads everything that you can think of and when i say school not only children get to go to school but also adults if you don't know haiti from the last time i remember last time i remember seeing haiti has the lowest literacy rates which is like at about 60 percent compared to the average of latin america which is like at about 80 90 percent so that's that's a like quite a big gap i would just do anything in my power to make sure that students are Educate, but also adults get the proper resources to go to school, learn how to write, read, count. I'm, I would really take my time to to contribute to the development of Haiti. Not only Haiti, but also Canada, other countries in the world. If you had all the money in the world, how selfish would you be? But also, I also want to ask, if you have unlimited resources of money, do people know that you have unlimited resources of money? People would just take advantage of you. If you're going shopping, they like, oh, they always give you the most expensive, expensive thing, even though you have the money. Sometimes, I feel like if you have so much money, you would just buy things because you know that you have the money. It's not because you want it. So there's like a fine line, and that's how. That's why you really also need to put have like clear boundaries. If I had so much money, I don't think I would. I don't think I would be on social media. At this point i don't think so people love to want you to spend money when you don't need to you can appreciate a thing without having to actually buy the product yeah so that was my little reflection <laughs> yeah my last part was lifestyle anything material i don't think so okay actually for material things i would just buy good quality products not necessarily luxury, especially shoes. I don't have a lot of shoes, but I think I can replace a lot of shoes with better quality of shoes, just for comfort and just, you don't have to buy it over and over and over again. Now, the issue is not about buying new stuff. It's about looking at clothes that I already have and tailor them. Some clothes are borderline too big for me. They're not even a cute oversized look. It's, it's your, you. Now, when it comes to lifestyle, I think, Thing. I love using public, public transportation, but I think having uh, my own chauffeur, especially at night and like available would be good. I would invest in a good hairstylist. I love to wear my natural hair, but it's such a process. It's like a full arm workout, okay? You have to undo the braids, you have to wash, you have to detangle, you have to put the products, you have to section the hair and let it dry. Bref. It's a whole the whole thing but once a month i would get my hair done professionally during the holidays my mom she didn't scold me but she was just like i ben, i don't think you can do it and you know you really need to go to a hairdresser who can do your hair and i was like okay i guess it's time so i'm actually like stepping into my my rich girl era really and what else would i do oh i told myself that in 2024 i was going to cook 
more for fun and not because I need to survive. But if I had unlimited resources, I think I would have my own chef. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just lazy like that. Well, I'm, I think some things are fun, but if I just had the chef help me cook and all that stuff, I think it would be more fun. It would be more fun. And also, I think once every two weeks, once a month, I would just have someone clean my house professionally. Really, I just, I, in my, okay, in my head, if I don't see it, it's not an issue. But the sad thing is that it can collect dust at quite, quite quickly. So if someone can just like go through everything, clean, do the, the, I actually don't mind doing the laundry. But if the, the professional who wants to do the laundry, then sure, fine, why not? It's just, it's really about res outsourcing what you don't like. Okay, and if I had also unlimited resources, I would probably ha hire someone to edit my videos because it's not really my favorite thing to do. But at the time being, I'm just, I'm learning the skill. And as I'm going with that, it's not as bad as I, it's not as bad, it's fine. Yeah. When it comes to skincare and, and makeup, I'm quite happy with what I have right now. Very simple, very... Do I have makeup right now? I don't even think so. Oh, I think I did put a bit of concealer here. And that's it. I think that's pretty much it, really. Ooh, I think... No, no, no. I think... One last thing. I think I would invest in a stylist. And if I'm going to events, all that stuff, I really want to... Not only really wear the dress that I have right now. Well, the clothes that I have right now, but... If I have the opportunity to wear something vintage or collaborate with a fashion brand and, I don't know, like, wear cool pieces for one night, yeah, that would be very, very much fun. That would be so much fun because not only I get to step out of my comfort zone, but, zone, but I also see what I like and I don't like about fashion and the styling and what can I change and all. So I'm just learning more about my personal, I'm contributing more to my personal fashion style, which yeah, I would like to know what you guys would like to do if you had just unlimited resources of money and Do you know what like now that I'm doing this exercise? I think a lot of the stuff that I said I could actually implement it with the resources that I have right now and Who knows maybe in one year? I've already had my my dream life if I'm creative enough I think I can get quite close to what I can actually what I actually want and yeah, that, that was a really fun exercise to do. So let me know what you would do with unlimited resources of money. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you guys next time.